Where our chickens go today? Got a big juicy watermelon for them. Where'd they go? Ah, oh, I see them. They're not over here today. They're hiding out. What are you doing over here, man? I got watermelon for you. Come on. Chicken love the watermelon. Hold on. I got to share. Wait. There you go. Now y'all can have the watermelon. Where the rest of the chicken go? I know what the problem is. I think these chickens are looking for a place to lay their eggs. I see them scratching over here. Welcome back neighbors. As you can see, these chickens are ready to lay their eggs. They're about 20 weeks now. Anywhere, anywhere from 20 to 24 weeks is when I've heard they start laying eggs. And I actually don't have a nesting box for them just yet. So today, we're actually going to be working on building two types of nesting boxes. Very easy, very cheap. These are very DIY chicken uh, nesting boxes, alright? There's no reason for you to go out there and spend $20, $30, $40 on a nesting box that you buy at a like tractor supply or anything like that these chickens honestly will lay their egg anywhere they really just need a nice little corner so i'm not going to go above and beyond i'm just going to grab a few little uh things that i have laying around and we're going to build something real quick and hopefully here in the next few days we start seeing farm fresh eggs all right guys all right so if you guys remember the coop we built this a few weeks ago uh i added this so they could roost on there I added plenty of rails for them to roost because we have 15 chickens. But the funny thing about the roost is I made it wide enough so they can all be comfortable and, and fit nicely over here. But at night I've actually came out here to check on them and they all like to bunch up on one side. All of them. All 15 of them. They try. They really do try. Every now and then someone will get kicked out of this side and they'll end up on that top rail of that side of the roost. But that's a, as far as they go. The rest of the, the, the rails, they'll never get used. They might probably use them to like step up there to the top one. I haven't really looked and seen if they do that. But they don't use it to their full potential is what I'm saying, you know. Chickens, they're not as smart as you may think they are. Anyhow, we got plenty of room here to do the nesting boxes. I'm actually going to put them up against that wall right there. Um, something that I read about chickens is that you really don't need as many nesting boxes as you have chickens. You know, we have 15 chickens. We don't need 15 nesting boxes. We're actually only going to put out about six of them today. That's all we're going to be doing here. And then I'm going to be doing one more. Because uh, like I said, I'm going to do two styles of uh, nesting boxes today. The other one, I'm going to put out there where I have a little bit of surprise for you guys over there of what I got. But anyways, we'll get started right here and we'll be setting them up and see how this plays out. Alright, y'all ready guys? Let's get started. Alright, so first I'm going to show you the setup and then we'll go over to the garage and we'll actually cut these out the way we need them to so it can fit nice and perfect. So, again, very inexpensive. Right here, you can actually go to the flea market and ask anybody, uh, any kind of vendor that sells tomatoes or any kind of vegetables that if they have any of these laying around. Alright, um, if they don't, I've seen them here locally on Facebook Market that they sell this for a dollar a piece. So, again, I mean, you're going to put up six... Uh, the next in boxes at six dollars right there and a board that you may have laying around i mean you're not going to be spending much at all so i'm going to show you how we're going to be setting them up you're going to put i'm going to be putting three in the bottom then i'm going to lay a board all the way across and then i'm going to be laying three on top like this all right now here we're about to go to the garage and we're going to be cutting this section out of it that way they can actually get in here and they can get all the way to the back to the back where we put on some of the shavings in the very back and they'll be able to to actually hopefully lay eggs here and not out there somewhere in the land where I won't be able to find them and pick them up the next morning all right that is I believe the trick is that I'm gonna have to keep them cooped up for about two weeks and uh, or three weeks 
and so I'll start seeing them lay eggs here. Once I feel confident that they know that this is where they're supposed to lay eggs, then I'll let them free range again just like they're doing right now because I've already seen a few of them kind of find a spot out there in the trees and then I, I keep checking on them, make sure they're not laying eggs, but I'm afraid one of these days I'm going to miss it. So I'm going to have to start keep, keeping them cooped up again. But if y'all have any other kind of recommendations as far as how to keep your free range chickens from laying eggs in random spots and hopefully trying to keep them in the uh, nesting boxes, then please comment below because this is our first time having farm fresh eggs. We're very excited, but we want to make sure it all goes well for us and the chickens, right? So now let's go to the garage get these cut up right here get them ready bring a piece of board that's going to be the length of all six of these all three of them and let's stack them up and then we'll go to diy project number two that's the second edition of how to do a chicken box Santiago, thank you. Piece of wood on top. Piece of wood on top. All right, let's see. Oh, we need one more. I'm gonna go get one more. All right. El otro lado. There you go. You got it? Alright, well, Now, we put our pine shavings in there. In here, we go. In here, we gotta put pine shavings in there. Is this what they see? Uh-huh. Alrighty. Now, you got your nesting boxes ready. Mm -hmm. you got your pine shavings in there. I guess and then we got some ship ties. Yes. Yeah, they're this. like jackets. Jackets. <laughs> Yeah, zip ties are very handy at all times. So we're gonna zip tie this together a little bit. Yeah, I will. these are like really jackets. Because really, I mean, the chickens won't really move them that much, but we still want to make sure that when they jump up in here, the one in the bottom is not gonna get too spooked. So that's why we're gonna zip tie them together, right, Miguel? Yeah. We'll drill a little hole right here, right on the corner. Yeah. tied it together as you can see it's a little bit more sturdy if you really want to go above and beyond you can actually screw it up against the wall of your chicken coop to us we're gonna leave it a little bit mobile oh, just in case oh, <laughs> we find a better spot for it so for now that's gonna be good anytime they go to bump into it that's gonna hold on to the rest of the coop all righty so now that we're done with the first <laughs> now that we're done with the first chicken boxes Santi, what time is it? It's time to go make the second chicken box. Yeah, it's time to go to make the second chicken box. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, yeah, we... and we're gonna have to bring more to cut it to make another one. <laughs> if you guys haven't been following us lately, 
Um, this channel here, we have a lot of different animals. We have uh, mini Cebu, we have goats, we have the chickens, we have our great Pyrenees, and now we have added one more animal to the farm that you guys that get to see this chicken nest now get to see which animal it is. Alright guys, so I'm so glad that you guys are here to, to meet that new animal. And make sure, like he said, subscribe down below for the channel so you can have a lot more farm fun. And like the video. And like the video. Alright guys, so now let's go on over, meet that new little farm animal, and then we'll finish up. And then we're going to do another one. Yeah, and then we're going to finish up with the second chicken box, right Mijo? Chicken Let's get things rolling. So the new animal on the farm is one that if you listen to the beginning of the video you can actually hear him crow but of course that's not the audio of that exact animal that I have but every farm I believe needs to have one. That is what wakes you up in the morning. That's the beautiful sound that you just heard right there. So I want to present to you guys something new that uh, actually just about two days ago we got him here on the farm and I hope you guys like him. It's something different. I know it's not your typical uh, rooster that you may be accustomed to, but these are our game bird roosters. Where are you going, little game bird? That's a gray with Kelson mix. And then we have another one here on the other side. We got to make sure we keep them completely separated by a board. Because if they see each other, they're not going to be happy with each other. And this is our second game bird. Nice looking game bird. <laughs> And honestly, that's why I like them. You know, here at CG Family Farm, we're mainly about the attraction of animals, right? Uh, we have the mini Cebus. I, I really like the way they look. That's why we got them. Uh, we may be changing from Nubian boar goats to uh, Nigerian dwarf. They have a better look on them. And the chickens, we went with Easter eggers and a lot of other chickens that have a lot of nice colors to them. So that's why I got the game birds. I really like their coat. I really like their feathers. They look really nice. And in order to get some nice little um, chicks, we have to put a little nesting box in the game bird coop as well. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're actually going to be building the... That's what the second DIY project is going to be for. We're going to put it right one on this side and one on the opposite side. What my dad is actually doing right there is making sure they completely are divided because these game bird roosters, if they see each other, no matter if they're a foot away, they're still going to try to go at each other and they're going to end up hurting themselves. So that's what he's doing. So how are we going to build the project number two? Well, once again, save you some money, find something that's around the home. And what is that going to be? A nice little five gallon bucket. So that's all we're going to be doing. Doing a little hole in this five gallon bucket and that's going to be the chicken nest for our game bird chickens. So now, once we get those game bird chickens, because they're still running loose and kind of hard to catch sometimes, but once we get them, we're going to put them in there, and now they have their own little chicken nesting box over there, so they'll be good to go. And over here, one thing I thought about was that if I'm going to keep these chickens cooped up for about two weeks, I want to be able to keep them enough feed in there that way. I don't have to be feeding them in the morning, in the afternoon, every day. If I keep something there, like a, a permanent feeder, then I can at least be good for about two days and lucky enough we actually have the turkey feeder available which because only we only have one turkey left we can actually be using it wisely right here in this area so we're going to set that up real quick and then they'll be good to go it's pretty simple I got some three inch PVC pipe right here a little 90 degree elbow here and then got another piece of uh, three inch PVC pipe long ways made some holes with the same little oscillating tool that I use for the rest of my uh, projects they do come in handy. Uh, I think they're about fifty to hundred dollars depending on what brand you get But get you one they come in handy a lot around here. So have this set up I have a cap that way our feet doesn't fall out There we go. I Use the rope what I'm gonna do with the rope is actually gonna put a nail up against the wall Put the rope up against it that way it doesn't go 
back and forth and then here through my little door I can actually just open it and be filling it up as needed every hopefully two days this feed will last them in order to keep the slope downward I put a block right here that's gonna actually help us keep the the slope I'm gonna fill it up and the chicken should be good to go like I said for about two days all right and if you can see that's a good sign that they're ready any day now we'll have some farm fresh eggs but all right guys like always i hope you enjoyed your time here i really appreciate you guys stopping by i hope you like these videos and you subscribe to the channel because we got a lot more farm fun coming up till next time go out there and have fun